Command R is a scalable generative model targeting RAG and tool use to enable production scale AI for enterprise. So this is from Cohere for AI. Uh, this blog is from March 11, 2024. And you can actually try this model already, right? Now, what is the speciality of command R? So what they say is that it boasts strong accuracy on retrieval, augmented generation and tool use, low latency and high throughput, larger 128K context and lower pricing, strong capabilities across 10 key languages. The model weights are available on Hugging Face. So this is a 35 billion parameter LLM. Okay. And you can do variety of use cases like reasoning, summarization and question answering. So I thought I'll try it out. You can already try it out. They have a uh, Cohere has Coral, right? Uh, their chat platform. So you can try it out over there. I just logged in with my Google account over here or you just need to create an account over here, right? And I tried out two uh, chats over here. Let's go through it and then let's uh, try out a real time use case, okay? So the first one, what I did was that here you can ground, you can do grounding. Okay. So when you do grounding, you can optionally upload a PDF file. Okay. So here I've actually uploaded a paper called design to code. I've created a video previously, right? Uh, so I have uploaded it and then I asked certain questions on this particular paper. Okay. So I asked like, how far are we f uh, from automated front end, front end engineering using LLMs? So here it says that the design to code task, it talks about that paper, which talks about the idea of converting visual design into code implementations. Uh, it gives a nice summary of the paper. It talks about the benchmark they have created over here. Uh, it says that the results show that GPT-4 vision performs among the best uh, among the tested models. GPT-4V could replace the original reference web pages in 49% of the cases, surprisingly in 64% of the cases. The GPT 4V generated web pages were considered better than the original references. Okay. Right. That's what, uh, you know, it gives over here. Now I asked a follow up question. Uh, thing is that it also shows where, you know, uh, it kind of gives the reference over here that it is pulled out from this document grounding based on that document. Okay. Then I asked like follow up question, why, what do humans prefer? Do they prefer visual designs created by LLMs or by humans? Okay. Again, it was able to, uh, in a direct assessment, it, it was able to pull this answer from the paper using RAG, right? And say that, you know, uh, human annotators were asked to compare each this thing. And surprisingly, the AI generated designs were considered better in 64% of cases. So, uh, and then I asked like, what are the criteria for human assessment? So in this way, I'm actually able to chat with this PDF and it is giving a decent responses based on my queries. Okay. Using RAG, right. And command R LLM. Okay. And I wanted to try out another use case where I said like, uh, let me look at, you know, um, here I can do web search basically, right. It has a web search connector. So grounding generated results using with the web search connector. So maybe I'll enable it over here. Okay. It is enabled already. Um, so here I asked like, what is a recent major issue in Bengaluru, right? I wanted to know what it is. And the recent huge issue has been water crisis. Okay. But it also talks about a blast at a popular restaurant on March 1st. It kind of summarizes and it gives the reference articles over here. Okay. For example, if I take this, it says that it's from this NDTV web news over here. Okay. Or say this article, uh, it takes Bangalore's real problems. Okay. Water supply disruptions. It says from these articles, right? So it has grounded the results. Uh, it takes from these references, right? Then I asked like, what are the reasons for water crisis in Bangalore? It gives multiple reasons over here. Okay. Rapid urbanization based on ISA, uh, Indian Institute of Science report, right? Water, uh, you know, green cover has totally gone in Bangalore and all those stuff it gives over here. Okay. I can ask a question, a follow up question like, you know, what can we do to prevent? What can we do to prevent? Prevent water shortage. Let's see whether it pulls some references. 
yeah uh, with web search connector water shortage this thing here it talks about improving infrastructure all these things uh, references are also available okay uh, encroachment of natural water, poor sewage treatment okay so implementing better water distribution let's see what is the reference for this six solutions to the water shortage right implementing water uh, distribution so it is actually able to refer to these uh, basically it is grounded on this uh, articles okay and drag is being performed and this was almost real time generation right probably i'll ask another question over here so here i can create a new chat okay uh, and it gives these three options chat only okay for example the model will respond without any sources and citations with web search it gives the citations with documents you can upload a long document and you can chat with the document okay you can query the document okay so probably let me try chat only this time and let me ask like you know uh, okay okay another interesting thing which before i wanted to try with web right uh, have you heard about devin probably everybody has heard about devin by now the first autonomous software ai software engineer okay this is with web connector let's see it should be able to do it yeah i heard indeed uh, devin i've heard devin is an ai software engineering so this is like a real time search right and it talks about that uh, okay fine now let's try another chat over here uh, i'll try chat only and then i'll see like okay tell me the mathematical tical intuition behind mathematical intuition behind um, let's say attention mechanism attention mechanism let's see what is the text which has been generated over here attention mechanism in machine learning okay okay it talks about vector representation similarity it talks about the key value in matrix this is how it has it talks about the context vectors the attention scores and other things it has generated a decent response over here okay so this is how you can go over here and try out this model it's also available on hugging face to run it uh, you know it is a 35 billion parameter llm so obviously you need a big gpu card to run it right at least 70 gb um, you know graphics card to run it or a set of graphics cards right uh, now if you go back to their uh, you know release block to see if some other details are present over here uh, they talk about high performance rag we already saw a demo of it uh, they make use of coheres embed and re-rank models for uh, you know embedding and then re-ranking the responses for high performance rag then they do augmented generation with uh, command r okay here they talk about human preferences on enterprise rag use cases uh, where they compare command r and mixtral and here they talk about average uh, benchmark uh, you know benchmarks uh, single retrieval benchmark they talk about K kilt wikipedia index and here they say they compare against llama 2 uh, mixtral gpt 3.5 turbo i don't really believe in these results okay you have to just try it out and if it is good for your use case make use of it right and here they talk about uh, access to tools which is like web search and external so basically function calling right um, so you can have code interpreters other user defined tools um, can be uh, you know they're already using it that's what they're saying or achieves this with uh, making use of code interpreters other user defined tools that enable to model automated highly sophisticated tasks right command r uh, they talk about the different languages okay longer context 128k tokens improved pricing so this is the kind of pricing for 1 million tokens dollar one for command r it is dollar um, point um, you know 50 cents basically for input and for output it is uh, for 1 million tokens it is uh, 1.5 dollars way much more cheaper than any of your gpt4 or any of the other models All right i don't have the exact numbers in mind of those models but this looks cheaper and you can try out that's what i did now you can try it out they also have documentation over here um, they talk about the capabilities again and uh, what else do um, they talk about tool use since they mentioned tool use probably i'm interested to try out a 
I don't know what tools are available. Maybe I can quickly try out another, uh, you know, uh, with web search. Uh, what are available? All connectors are available. But I don't know whether interpreter is really available over here. Maybe I'll just ask a mathematical question. I have, I have bought 15 pencils for rupees 10 and 20 notebooks for rupees 200 each. Okay, let me make it as 20, yeah, 20 each. 15 pencils for rupees 10 each. How much did I spend? Let's see how it computes it. This is not track. Right. You spent 300 in total. Okay. Subtotal it gives uh, this thing. 15 into 10 is 150. 20 into 20 is 400. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, how did I spend? Uh, so, okay. You are wrong. Think step by step. This is not a rag use case, right? Ah, when I do this thing step by step, it is giving me the correct answer over here, right? Yeah, so prompting and other things matter over here as well. So this was a quick look at command R. You can go and try out this. Cheaper, smaller models are always welcome from various competitors, be it Mixtral, be it Cohere for AI. If these models work for your use case, you can always move from GPT-4 to these models. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.